Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are all well. Um, today I'm sat in my closet or my accessories room and I thought I would film a really really fun video At least I think it's fun and I hope you guys enjoy it too so I thought I would do a collection video but only solely focused on Louis Vuitton bags um, So just the bags, no uh, small leather goods or anything So no wallets and like card holders or anything But I will include clutch in, in this video um, Clutches So so far, as far as I remember, I've never had to, or I've never said a disclaimer in my videos. I don't really plan on starting, um, just because I don't think it's necessary. I feel like we all have options here. If you find these kinds of videos offensive or you don't like watching them, please don't force yourself to. Um, you can always click out, but if you do enjoy it, um, stick around and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to be sharing around 22 bags. I know, it's a lot. It's a lot, I realize that. But a lot of these are hand-me-downs from my mom. Um, I think that's what makes my collection so special because a lot of them um, did belong to my mom. So there are a lot of pieces that I don't see around anymore and so yeah, they're just unique and different. I like that. I do have about eight, I think, Louis Vuitton bags back in Hanoi I've left there. And I think I've decided I'm going to share four of the bags that I've left back there. I'm just going to insert a picture and tell you guys about them because they're all very special pieces and all four of them were hand-me-downs for my mom as well. So I'm going to share all the hand-me-downs first and then I'm going to share the non-hand-me-downs and I'm going to do it in order of when I purchased them, I believe, as far as I can remember. And just the ones in London, like I said, not excluding, sorry, excluding the ones in Vietnam. I guess we should just get started. This is the first hand-me-down that I'm sharing with you guys. I remember as a kid I would see my mom use this bag a lot, um, especially when we travel. This was her traveling bag, so lots of fond memories of me and my mom going back to Taiwan with this. You have a crap ton of space. This is literally like a bottomless pit, honestly. By the looks of it, you can definitely put a MacBook um, Air in here for sure, but I don't think anything bigger. Um, I've never actually used this as a travel bag. I've used it um, just as like an everyday bag if I have to shove a lot of things into my bag. Um, look how old this bag is. It even has like a spot for your mobile, but like obviously not the iPhones. Look at that. This is a mobile slot. Let me show you guys. Will not fit your phone. <laughs> Um, and it's got like a pen bit, more accessory bit, I've got a ticket to Margate. So I've had this for between 8 to 10 years and my mom had it for about probably 10 years, I'm not entirely sure. But um, this is in mint condition, can you see this? Like I don't see a single scratch, actually like legit zero scratches. And we haven't replaced any of the hardware or the leather at all. There is a long strap at the back, of course. There is a front pocket here as well that extends from there all the way to there and it goes all the way down to the bottom bit. I really like the shape of this bag. Um, it's very unusual and I actually get a lot of compliments whenever I carry it. The second hand-me-down I'm going to share is this one. This one is super special. I love this one and I use this one a lot. I think this is the bag I use the most or yeah, one of the bags I use the most out of all the hand-me-down bags. It's like black paint and it's got like the damier kind of um, checkered design. I don't know if you can definitely see that. There's a massive gold plate here that says Louis Vuitton Paris. Um, the straps are interesting. You can either wear it cross body or on your shoulder like so, or you can actually undo this and connect that down here and it will just be a shoulder bag. It will just like make it like, wait, let me show you. Pretty much like that, but without this in the middle, because that's obviously connected there. But it's a magnetic closure. Look at this condition, guys. I mean, there are a couple scratches here, but let me tell you, I actually went to a birthday party with this um, clutch, and at the end of it, they had a massive cake fight. When I say cake fight, I mean like, it was a massive cake fight. And I didn't even notice, but I had cake, like, literally just mudged all over this. Luckily, this is paint, so it wiped right, right off, but yeah. For, for how old it is. I mean, look look at the dust bag of this. It's like super old. Look at the condition. The shape is perfect. 
bottoms are perfect, interior is perfect. Um, I did notice this um, last time I was using it, a bit of here. The stitching has come off a little bit. I'll insert a picture. Because, <laughs> not the stitching, the leather, I like ripped a part of the leather a tiny bit, so I'll include a picture of this. This is the third hand-me-down. Although, it was, I mean, it's considered a hand-me-down because my mom did buy it for herself. But then she decided she didn't want it anymore and she was going to return it. Um, but she asked me if I liked it and I thought this would be such, such a good beach bag. Um, so I kept it. Here's the interior. Look at, okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Hair in there. Cute. So this is what the inside looks like. It's huge. This one is has got the... Articles, the Voyage, Louis Vuitton 101, Champs Elysees, Paris, and it comes with like a, an extra little pouch that is not detachable. She probably got this like seven years ago, I would say. Yeah, around seven years ago, is when she bought this bag, and yeah, it just has a Louis Vuitton um, monogram print all over it. Um, the button's really sweet. It's got like the Louis Vuitton logo on it. Um, and yeah, I've used this as like, um, I used this once as a road trip bag and I've used it a couple times for the beach as well because it fits a towel, it fits everything and yeah, I just think it's such a good beach bag. It does have feet, which is nice and yeah, in really good condition as well. So hand me down but not really because I don't think my mom ever really used that bag. Another hand me down for my mom is this grey beauty and actually I got a lot of compliments using this bag too. A lot of people like it because it's very understated. It's very, you don't know it's Louis Vuitton until you come really up close. I never really carry it like this unless I'm taking pictures. I usually carry it by the shoulder. It's just much more convenient. Again, this can fit, um, an, actually this can probably fit um, a, a small MacBook Pro. I'm not sure. I, I, I've, I've never used this as a, as a computer bag either, but it looks like it. Um, it's got a big um, pocket inside there and then two smaller pockets here and it's got silver hardware and yeah it's just a very understated bag like honestly like from afar even from like a little bit of a distance you wouldn't even be able to tell it's Louis Vuitton until you like you really come up close so yeah it's a very like low-key bag and I really like that about this and yeah the leather feels really really nice even with all like the stitching in it but you can tell it's very buttery and very smooth. I've actually seen this in the second hand market a couple times so if you guys really really like it you guys can always check the second hand market for some of these bags. Also I'm so sorry that I realize I haven't said the names of the first three bags I've shared. Um, I don't know the names of most of these bags. The newer bags I'm probably better at but these these older bags especially when they're not they weren't very popular I guess like I didn't see them everywhere like I don't I don't really remember the names um, plus there's just, like too many names to remember. And I think the last hand-me-down I'm going to share in this video is this clutch. And when my mom and I saw this, it was only in black, and only later on did we find out those, like, they came out in, like, so many different colors, but that's, like, what all brands do, right? They just, like, hit you with, like, some classic colors, and if it does well, they just, like, hit you with, like, every color of the rainbow, and you're like, wait. <laughs> um, anyway, but I'm glad I got the black one, because it's, I think, the only black clutch I own. I don't own a lot of black leather goods. My favorite part of this is the turn lock. It's just this black enamel kind of situation. And it says Louis Vuitton Paris. And then it's, and all you do is just kind of do that. And you open it up. It's like an envelope style clutch. Um, I believe this came with a mirror. I'm not entirely sure. It's not here. I wish it came with like maybe a strap so I can cross body it because I probably would use it a lot more. The only reason I don't use it as much as I used to is purely because it's a clutch and I generally like to be fuss free with my hand. That's why I like small cross bodies. It's just like really easy. So yeah, I don't use this bag as much anymore or this clutch, sorry, but I still think it's like a nice clutch to have in your collection just purely because it's really simple, it's black, will go with everything, and um, yeah, it's very classy. So now we're going to start with the order of the oldest to newest Louis Vuitton bags into my collection. So this first bag, everyone and their mother owns. It is the Never Full, and this one is in the Damier Azor. I bought this bag for a big trip that I planned in 2013, and it was to 
um, Sweden, Holland, France, and Germany. And so I wanted a bag that I could just chuck everything in, simple carry-on carry, carry -on bag, um, large enough to fit like all my crap in, um, carefree, but still, you know, nice. So I opted for this one. It's seen better days, um, but that's okay. That's the point of these bags, right? They're just like, you chuck everything in their kind of bag. Um, so there's a lot of pen marks and stuff at the bottom, which, which, which you can't see, which is fine. I think there are pen marks here too. Yeah, I have got pen marks on the front here too, but it's not too not noticeable, so I'm not that upset. As far as traveling goes, because that's exactly what I bought this bag for, it's so, so perfect. Unless you're a little bit worried about your stuff hanging about. Um, I honestly didn't carry anything too valuable inside this bag. The most valuable things I had in here, obviously, were my wallet and my passport. Um, and I kept that super safe, like, zipped up in here, and my phone as well, and everything else kind of laid here. So, like, a jacket, a scarf, whatever, water. So I wasn't too worried. Yeah, I guess I don't really pull for this bag anymore um, as much as I used to, but it's such a classic um, Louis Vuitton piece. And so I'm very happy to keep this in my collection. This one I shared in a previous video. It was a graduation present from graduating high school. And this was, I bought this in 2013, or no, 2012. So I bought this in 2012. Um, well, there you go, I messed it up already. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure one that I shared before I got like at 2013. Okay, actually, these two bags I pretty much got at the same time so my mom treated me to this and then handed me down this pretty much on the same holiday to Taiwan I remember this so yeah I won't talk too much about this just because I shared this in a previous video it's a twist lock um, it's quite spacious but you just have to stretch it out um, it's just in this really cool weaving kind of detail and they had this in black as well I just love how like mod this bag looks it's really really cool so after that bag, I kind of went crazy with Almas. I loved and still love the Alma bags. I think I love the shape. I love the variety of color and, and, and leather and everything that it comes with. They are, again, some, um, some of Louis Vuitton's most classic bags. Um, maybe not as popular as the Speedy and Neverfull, but the Almas, I think are just such sweet bags. So this is the first Alma I bought. Um, I bought this in Vietnam, actually in Hanoi. I just have a, a little Louis Vuitton um, charm on it and then this this is just from like an, oh, an Etsy website, this little puffball. But um, this is in the Indian Rose, I believe. Oh my god, look at me trying to like <laughs> remember names. This is definitely like your pink, like your hot pink. <laughs> Um, this size is great. So these don't come with like any straps, which usually would put me off a bag, but in this style, I just think it's so ladylike. I love how structured it is. I love structured bags. Structured bags are like my favorite. So this is just so nice and structured. Um, it's got some gorgeous feet. So it's got a massive interior with two pockets on this side and nothing on the other side. Honestly, when I first bought this bag and started carrying around, it made me feel like such a woman, like such a lady, like such a boss whenever I carried this. And it's also one of the bags that like you kind of have to either hold like this, which can get tiring, or you hold in the crook of your arm. And that's kind of like when I started feeling like so Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen, like, hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got this, um, I guess around also 2012 as well, or 2013. I have two more but in the mini size and this is what they look like if you're gonna ask me which size I prefer I would probably prefer the minis purely because it comes with a strap although I guess you could buy like um, an extra strap and just hang it on this but I don't know this might look weird on a strap it's just a bit big for that but these are just perfect size if they if these look a little bit puffy it's because I stuffed it um, inside so it keeps its shape but this is in this gorgeous, like, dark wine red color. It is a bit shimmery, which I really love. And I bought this for Chris to wear for during Christmas time because um, I just think it's such a, like, festive, like, bag without being, like, bang red in your face. This um, little purple one I love because purple is my favorite color. And I don't know, this color is just so gorgeous. Um, I don't own a lot of purple bags, so... I love this one. As you can see, I do have a preference with like the kind of material. So the the almas come in like epi leather, and they also come with your monogram and your like what's the other one called? 
Demi a Ben, there we go. Nowadays they come with like flowers and like different appliques and like designs and all that stuff. But I think at the end of the day my favorite is still just the patent leather. Um, how does how does Louis Vuitton call it? Um, vernis, there we go. Found it. So the full name of this is the Alma BB Vernis in this purple color. I don't know the name of the color. But anyway, <laughs> I think the reason I like the vernis is because it's just, I like shine. I like the shininess it's because it's a small bag and it's a really fun, bright color. I don't know, I just think it looks super cute. And also living in a country where it rains unexpectedly, this is perfect because obviously it will withstand the wet. So yeah. They are coming pretty true to color. This is a little, this is coming across a little bit lighter in camera. It is a bit darker. It's a darker, like, true, like, purple. I would say. And this is like our dark wine red. Got some shimmer to it, which is nice for like the festive season, like I said. Moving on to two clutches. So these clutches don't advertise as clutches. They advertise as toiletry bags. But I do love using them as just a clutch. This one is the toiletry in this size. It's the larger size. They come in like a medium and a small, I believe, and a mini. I think this is the largest one. I love how casual this makes an outfit. Um, I guess because of the print and because of the material, it's just it's just so easy to walk out and just like have your essentials in there if you don't have too much to carry. And yeah, if you're looking for like a simple clutch and don't want to like spend a fortune and you want to be Louis Vuitton, this is such a good option because um, they're really well priced. Also, like because it's a toiletry bag, um, it's so easy to clean the inside if you get it dirty. You just wipe it down. So yeah, I've actually never used this as a toiletry bag. I only use it as a clutch whenever I do. Actually, I wasn't going to share this, but I can just go. This is what I use as a toiletry bag. Also from Louis Vuitton, but I don't know the name of this one. But that's not a bag, so we're not going to share it. Alternatively, you could also um, pick out something like this if you want some color. So this one is in the um, Epi leather, I believe. And um, the only way you'll know that this is Louis Vuitton is, well, if you recognize the leather, but also there's only one little monogram kind of embossed there. Um, this is in a much smaller size, so I believe, I don't know what size this is, but here's a size comparison. It is significantly smaller. This one has silver hardware. I love it says silver hardware. Um, I bought this in London, in New Bond Street, and yeah, it's still quite spacious. It will fit your iPhone 7 Plus very, very comfortably. It will fit a wallet, your keys, whatever you need. And yeah, I just think this is a really fun pop of color. Again, if you're looking for a clutch but don't want to spend a fortune, their toiletry bags are so cute for that. They come in so many different colors. So yeah, so these are like exactly the same style, just different size. Um, I assume this is like the medium, and there, I do know there's a smaller one. I know this because I was eyeing it, but I was like, no, I'll never use it. So earlier I was saying I don't use clutches that often, which is true, but um, if I were to, I usually grav um, gravitate towards these ones just because they're, um, they're, they're much more casual and much more carefree and easy easier to use and they they work with a lot of outfits too. This one is a vintage bag and I bought this at a secondhand store in Holland. The price for this bag was so so good. I think it was like under 400 euros. It was like 300 and something um, and it was just in this gorgeous vintage store um, with so many gorgeous vintage designer bags. I did use this for a while but at the moment I do keep it up on my shelf as decoration um, for when I'm not using it so I just have this hanging there as well but if I were carrying this bag don't worry I'll take this off I mean I'll still use this charm somewhere else but I don't think it goes with this bag um, so yeah I love this bag because I love the colors so it's red at the front green at the back blue at the bottom and all the way around including the strap and for what I pay, the condition is pretty good. I mean, obviously you can tell it's used. I think the worst part of this bag is the strap here to cinch the bag in. It has definitely seen better days. This looks very, very, um, um, this looks like it's about to snap in like two seconds. But I was thinking if that's the worst part, that's the most easiest part to replace, I'll just get another leather, blue leather strap. And everything else is clean. There's no marks around it. Um, it works perfectly fine. Sorry, there's no, I didn't get a dust bag with this, so there's just a bunch of paper in there which I'm not going to take out or else like, all the noise is going to irritate everybody. There is a pocket there, and that's it. There's nothing on the other side. So it's a bucket style bag, which I don't gra gravitate towards a lot, but again, um, I bought this for a trip, um, a big trip that I took, and this was kind of the bag that I used um, along the way, and it was just, yeah, very convenient. So the, so the strap, you can tell like the leather's like wrinkled a little bit, but it doesn't bother me. 
just says Louis Vuitton made in France underneath. I believe this is considered a classic Louis Vuitton piece. It's still around. You can still buy these. By the way, I don't think I mentioned this. If um, the bag is still available, maybe not in the exact color, combination, etc. But if it's still available, like similar or like the same style, just... I guess like current version of it. Um, I'm gonna link. The, I'll leave the link down below. So I know you can still buy the Noe bag, but I don't know about this color combination. And you guys know me about color. I just love the crazy color. It was just like super like 80s vibes. This is a, another second hand piece. This I bought in Taiwan again in a um, vintage store there. I guess didn't really want to. Um, fork over the money to buy it in store just because I don't use backpacks as much. They're not my favorite. When I saw this in Taiwan and I saw the price and the condition of it, I thought this would be such a good like day trip bag. Like if I ever went to the zoo or like to some amusement park or whatever where I want to be hands free. Um, but I want to carry like quite a, like, you know, a water bottle, like my camera, etc. Um, this is such a good bag for it. So I decided to get it. The only thing missing was just the bit that holds the strings together here so it doesn't loosen up. So it, I mean, it is an important piece to to have lost but I don't mind just tying this together which has worked out every time I've used this bag and what's more important is just the fact that this can um, close on the outfit and on the outside bit here um, again I just have uh, my little pony and another pom-pom it's got a little pocket here so yeah this is the backpack and I think the only Louis Vuitton backpack I own and will ever own as far as I'm concerned yeah just not a backpack kind of girl so at one point I was looking for a laptop bag, so my mom very kindly treated me to one from Louis Vuitton. She got this in Taiwan. I have my WS, my initials, on the tag here. And yeah, honestly, your bog standard laptop bag. Oh, it's got stuff in it. Yeah, so this is more like accessories. I don't know why I've kept it in there. On the interior you have a massive pocket, zip pocket at the back here. And then in front of it you have two pockets. On this side, you have two pen pockets. I don't know if you, if you can't see, just take my word for it, guys. <laughs> and then four pockets. Um, pretty good size, I would say. Like, yeah, it fits my hand like that in there. That helps at all. It's got a little D, uh, D link there if you want to hook something onto that, like keys. Only one downside. A pretty big downside, though, if I will admit. It does not have straps. You guys know how I feel about straps. <laughs> Um, unfortunately this doesn't have straps which I think is really really odd but that's fine this looks really nice held in the hand anyway but yeah it is quite heavy without the laptop in there so sometimes it does help if it had like a shoulder strap but yeah this is my laptop bag the next bag is my Louis Vuitton cappuccino bag um, this Again, was buying Taiwan, and yeah, I had been eyeing this bag for a while, but because it came out in like a bajillion colors, I put it off, and I couldn't decide between. So my mom and I went shopping in Taiwan, and we saw this color combination, and we just thought it was just like the oddest color combination ever. It almost doesn't work, but that's why I really like it. I just, I don't, I haven't seen this color combination on anyone else's. I think it's just really interesting. I mean, of course I know it exists, but it's just not the most popular. So it is um, pink, but it's got a purple uh, trim. It's got purple uh, Louis Vuitton logo here. And the flat bit is like this beige, like egg white color, which I really, really like. And I have, my, my mom hates this. Um, I like it. It's a really fun pom pom. I got this in Camden in London, but Oh, and I forgot to say, the, the handle is blue. The blue handle honestly got me. I love the blue handle. I think it's such a gorgeous blue. It's just like a dark muted blue um, underneath this pink. I love the cappuccino style bag. Honestly, I think it's such a cool style bag. And it's just such a boss lady bag as well. I think every boss mama needs something like this. I love that this is just such a casual like flap that tucks into like a little piece of um, leather bit inside. Um got two compartments. The interior is purple by the way. It's got compartment at the back and compartment at the front. It's got a zip pocket at the back there and that's pretty much it. And there's like a, a D-link in case you want to hook anything. I think this is just such a cool design bag and I really like the look of it. Um, this is in the medium size. I believe that there's a smaller uh, one. 
they might be a bigger one I'm not too sure but um, I know that there's one smaller size and I really 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 love that size bag so I know this bag hasn't been around as long as like the Speedies, Neverfulls and even the Almas but I honestly think that this is such a classic Louis Vuitton um, design now and I think it'll stick stick around for sure um, I still see them coming out in different colors and stuff it's always very tempting but yeah if I were to ever consider any of these again I'll probably get them the smaller size so next is this little cutie over here. I don't know the name of this bag. Um, I think it's like a, a newer kind of design, but it's super cute. Of course it comes with a strap, but I've just shoved it inside. Um, I'll just show you the inside while it's open. It looks like so. I've got like the dust bag in there. So it's got like a card holder slot here. You can see that's a little orange bit is the booklet it came with. And then um, it's got a zip pocket here at the front. So there really isn't a lot of space in there, I'm not going to lie. Um, it does fit the iPhone 7 Plus. I love the hardware, and I love that the hardware is both silver and gold. There's not as much gold, but there, it's still there. I do wear more silver jewelry, but um, it's nice to have the option to mix it with um, gold if you worry about that. I personally don't care about um, mix matching metals, but... If you do, um, this is a cool option because it has both hardwares. And yeah, again, another cute structured bag. But yeah, it's a really nice casual day or evening bag um, if you don't carry too much stuff. Next is, um, dang it, what is the name of this thing? How do people remember names of these freaking bags? Okay, Petite Mal is what this is called. Found it. <laughs> This is pretty useless when it comes to actually carrying stuff in. It does fit my iPhone 7 Plus, but it will not fit much more than that. But it is such a cute bag. And because Louis Vuitton are notorious and they're known for their travel pieces, I think it's so cute that they um, made like the, you know, their classic trunk into like a little bag. Um, because not, I guess not everybody would want a trunk or would want to splurge on a trunk like that. But on like a little miniature one like this that you can use as a bag, I think that's such a sweet idea. And yeah, I'm very on board for this. Just like with most other Louis Vuitton bags, this comes in lots of different color combinations and variations. I got this one with like the blue lining, which I really, really like. I love the combination with the blue and the, um, and the Louis Vuitton, um, monogram print. I think it just looks really, really classic and cute. Um, pop of color because you know I need that. Of course this comes with a strap, yeah? Um, I also think the interior is gorgeous. I love how they um, did the diamante kind of design at the back here. I think it's really, really pretty. And yeah, this is also a gorgeous, gorgeous decoration piece. I know that's like so vain to say almost, but like um, obviously I use this for its function as a bag, but if you're not using it, what's the harm in using it as decoration? I think it's stunning for decoration. Next bag is also a, another bag that I have shared in a previous video. It is the uh, twist bag. So yeah, again, a very popular bag, I believe. Uh, this one is in like the one size up from the smallest, because um, I know there's one smaller, and um, it's in the uh, red epi leather with silver hardware. Really spacious, easy to get into. I love the chain. I mean, at first I thought it looked a bit cheap. It's a little bit light for my liking. Like, the chain is a little bit light. I wish it was a little bit heavier, but then it'll make the bag heavier, and um, that's fine. So, like, I can compromise. I just feel like it just feels a little bit cheaper than usual. But um, I actually surprisingly like this chain, um, which I didn't think I would, because it just just looks a little bit cheap, doesn't it? <laughs> Anyway, the shape of this bag, on this, if, 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 especially if you see it on the side, I just love how like quirky that is. It's interesting. I, I really like it. Next is my um, wallet on chain from Louis Vuitton from the Kabuki collection. Again, I shared this in a haul and I shared this in my last video. A very carefree, easy, but statement bag. Um, maybe not everyone's cup of tea. It's a bit creepy in the face. I just think it looks really cool. It's a unique piece and yeah, I just love this. Um, especially for a night out. It's a great, great piece. Yeah, I don't want to talk too much about it. Um, it's the same chain style, but just a smaller chain than um, the twist. And yeah, the structure of this is like pretty much like most um, most wallet chains, similar to the Chanel uh, wallet on chain. Um, 
yeah, I don't want to talk too much about this because I have spoken about this so many times. The next two bags are newer bags into my collection. One of them is from Vestir and the other one I bought in Boutique. So the one that I bought first is this one. Guys, <laughs> I'm so happy with this bag. So basically, long story short, I have this is my first Speedy, guys. I've never owned a Speedy before. Uh, my first Louis Vuitton bag was that little cylinder one I shared in my luxury handbag tag. How gorgeous is she? So she's, like I said, from Vestia, so she's second hand. And this one is the um, Murakami collection with the cherries. And I love that the cherries have, like, two facial expressions. The so surprise, like, face and, like, the super happy face, like... I love it. I know this is like most people's like first Louis Vuitton bag and I totally understand why. I love it. It's so functional. It's it's so easy to use and I literally use this like four days in a row this week because it's just so easy and not this week, it was last week. Again, I can shove everything in here. I mean, this is in such mint condition, honestly. It's so nice. Like, there's not a single scratch on it. The print, um, the cherries are there on perfectly. None of them have any... Um, like scratches or anything came with the lock and the keys are inside um, I put the lock here for now and yeah I mean obviously the leather has patinaed but pretty nicely honestly I don't really care about that stuff the um, dust bag this one is red from um, I guess the, the cherry collection I didn't realize that before actually there's a pocket I mean I'm really not going to talk too much about this because I think there's probably even more videos about the speedy than there are but never full I don't know though Guys, we're down to the last bag, finally. And this is the newest Louis Vuitton addition to my collection. And it is this bucket bag. I don't know if that's, I don't think that's what it's actually called, but it's such a cool bag. There was two versions that I liked. There's this one and there's another one with a lock at the front. And honestly, at first I was looking at the lock at the front. I think the lock at the front like aesthetically looked nicer to me. I was like, ooh, that one's the one. But unfortunately my sales associate said it was sold out and he was gonna hunt it down for me. But he did mention to me that it will not fit my iPhone 7 Plus. And I was like, you know what? If it doesn't fit my phone, then I'd rather go with the one that does. And this one fits my phone um, completely. There's stuff in it right now because I'm using this, I use this bag today. Basically, this is a clasp, you just pinch it to open it like so and yeah this is everything that I have in my bag it's there's a, a card slot at the back which you can't see but that's pretty much the only pocket in there but I don't know I just love this like rounded kind of shape I think it's so cute and it just reminds me of love like oh it's called the bento box isn't it I don't know maybe not but it reminds me of like a bento box it reminds me of like a little Chinese takeaway this which is why I got it because I was like Chinese is my favorite food, and this looks like a Chinese takeaway. I mean, Chinese food is my favorite, like, ever. So apparently this uh, detachable strap is supposed to be hooked onto these links down here, if you guys can see. But um, I've decided to put it up here because it just, like, didn't feel right having it down there. Um, this handle, uh, top handle here, is not detachable. It is detachable on this side, uh, but not on this side. This one, it stays. So I guess you could... Um, unhook it put it on the same side and use it as like a wristlet and then like take this off I don't know if that is what they had intended um, I probably would never use it like that but anyway yeah okay so now I'm going to talk about some of the bags that I have in Hanoi but I'm just going to share four of the bags and I'll insert a picture as well um, not my personal one I just I'm just going to google a picture of it because I think I don't think I have like a really clear picture of any of those bags really so the first two bags, I'm going to say them together, these are, um, I believe, from the collection called the Sauvage Collection. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm finding out. I had to, like, kind of, like, literally, like, search this up um, on Google, and from my understanding, I think it's called the Sauvage Collection, and there's, like, different bag styles. So I have um, the two that I have up on the screen at the moment. These were actually the first hand-me-down bags my mom gave me. The squared little bag actually has a little bit of a backstory. Um, this was around the time when my mom like first started getting into Louis Vuitton and we were uh, back in Australia and my mom treated herself to that bag, um, this little square one, and she was so happy with it. But unfortunately her bag got stolen um, in the hotel room and yeah, that was really crappy. Um, my mom was quite upset about it and my 
dad very very kindly um he actually went back to the store and bought her another one and surprised her with it and i thought it was like the sweetest thing ever so yeah i'm just really happy that it's in my collection now and yeah it's <laughs> And yeah, the reason it's in Hanoi is because, honestly, it really doesn't fit. I mean, it's tiny. It's, like, probably, like, yay big, like that. It's so small. And um, it doesn't fit my phone, and I never use it. And if I were to use it, it would definitely be in Hanoi, where I don't carry as much as I do here. Also, the material of it is calf hair, if you guys are wondering. And then the straps are leather. I'm just looking at the pictures of them on my phone, so I can describe it. And I love the little dice... Um, at the end of the little, like, I don't know, um, clasp bit. I think that's really cute. And the next bag was also another hand-me-down bag that was given to me around the same time, actually. It is a suede black bag. I think it's called the Whisper Bag. And the only reason I knew this was because I actually wore it um, a couple weeks ago when I was back in Hanoi, and someone commented on my picture and was like, oh my god, I, I had the same Whisper Bag. I was like, now I know what it's called, so I was able to Google it for you guys. Um, or else I literally wouldn't know how to like find this bag, find a picture of this bag. So the first time I saw this bag, actually, um, was when I was watching the TV show uh, The Hills, or just Hills, I can't remember. It's like a reality TV show um, about people working in the fashion industry, basically. It's like ended a while ago, but it starred like Lauren and Heidi. Um, I, I don't know how to pronounce their last names, but... I think it's Lauren Con Conrad and like Heidi Monta. Anyway, um, so Heidi actually had this bag, um, the Whisper bag. She carried it into work one day and I was like, oh my God, that's such a cool bag. So when my mom brought the same bag home, I was like, oh my God, it's the same bag. So I carried around that house feeling like super fashion. I was like, I'm gonna go to work in the fashion industry and all that stuff. It was like, it was such great times. She ended up handing down the bag to me. Um, I don't know, I think it must've been, it's, it's been a while now, maybe like six, seven years and um, yeah, I use it uh, when I can. Again, it doesn't have a, a shoulder strap. It's just cook of the arm kind of bag. So, um, and it's quite heavy because it's suede and it's got two compartments. Um, two big compartments and one zipper com compartment in the middle. And it's got a lock as well. But yeah, this is a special piece in my collection and I absolutely adore the monogram and like the line going through it. It's just such a gorgeous bag. And the last bag I'm going to share with you guys is called the Aviator Bag. I had to literally like type in in the description box like the entire description of the bag and eventually scroll down to find it. So this is um, made out of fabric a material with leather straps and details and whatnot and the bottom bit is leather as well. Um, the, it, this bag came out in lots of different color combinations I believe but the one on the screen is the exact one that I have. Uh, my mom handed that down to me maybe three, four years ago. Um, she used this bag a lot. Um, this was her every single day bag and she used it for work, she used it for travel, she used it for everything. So I love that bag. It's been well used. I used it for a while for traveling as well but I have since retired it, left in Hanoi just because I prefer a structured bag um, now and that one is a very floppy bag but I would never get rid of it because it reminds me of my mom and yeah. Also the print of the monogram on this fabric is so stunning. It's almost like, um, it almost reminds me of like Thai kind of fabrics where um, the, where the thread doesn't, isn't, where the thread looks a little bit blurred and not like completely, but like purposely blurred, you know? I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm sure you can tell in the picture that like it's just not like straight cut. It just looks a little bit like, you know, messy, but in a good way. Um, yeah, that's like reminds me of like Thai fabric for some reason. Um, if you, maybe I can search for a picture of Thai fabric and <laughs> tell you guys, show you guys what I mean by that. keep the goodbye as short and sweet as possible please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it um, please comment down below let me know which one is your favorite bag or, or if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for future videos also hit the subscribe button if you guys want to come back and hang out with me again but besides that I hope you guys have a beautiful evening or day and um, I'll speak to you guys soon bye guys